Okay, guys, this is the robot that I built last week to show off the uh, motor controller booster pack, low voltage one. And it uses the uh, Dagu Mr. Basic robot platform. And I'll get into a review about that in a little bit in this video. It's a four wheel drive platform, two DC motors. Um, instead of the battery pack that it comes with, which is just a you know, three triple A, uh, three double A battery pack. I opted for a six point four volt lithium battery pack. Uh, uses the MSP four thirty launch pad as the brain. The low voltage motor controller. And then for it to see where it's going, more or less, it uses a sharp uh, IR sensor. There we go, now it's in focus. And a servo that pans it back and forth quickly. And so we can see all in front of it. It's not perfect, but it works well enough for a simple demonstration. Um, the sensor works by, if something with, comes within 10 centimeters of it, it pulls its signal line low. Yeah, it pulls it low and the uh, microcontroller just checks it every so often if it's low then it you know it does something else to avoid the object hopefully but yeah i'm going to take this into the hallway and give this test ride all right guys here goes a little demo See, the problem with that panning is that the servo is not in the right spot. And I can't make the bot any slower because then it doesn't have enough power on that PWM to overcome the friction of the drivetrain. And that, yeah, that's basically it. Well, that's it. Besides the little review about the uh, Dagu Mr. Basic platform. So, I bought a bunch of these on eBay a while ago for 15 bucks. I think they retail for 30 And they, uh, they basically look like this. This is another one. And they have a PCB, that blue one that comes with it. it looks like that. And it mounts on top. And then you put the battery pack down here. And I will say, if I paid full retail price for these, I'd be pretty angry. Um, the big problem with them is these nylon gears are just terrible, first of all. Yeah. Second, the tolerances for this drivetrain is horrendous. You can see where I've been trying to adjust the whole thing. And there's so much friction in this drivetrain that it's ridiculous. And so the big problem though with those nylon gears is if you try to change direction quickly, it just completely strips it out. And if you go back to listening to it uh, drive around, you can hear the nylon gears going So yeah. That's a big problem with this with this set. And the other problem is running these motors flat out, it goes way too fast. So they either need to put more gear reduction in it or put slower RPM motors. Because this thing just hauls it just it's insane how fast this thing can go. Which is pretty amazing compared to how you know terrible the drivetrain is. And how much friction it has. But yeah, that's it.